Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, where, I mean, it's been a little routine lately, but routine is not bad. Oh god. Okay, well, it's a good. Alright, well. <laughs> 2PAL3JX2. Please tell me this is a library, because we have 1 HP, bad rate of fire, terrible damage. Um, and now we have Bookworm, admittedly. So that's that's a start, but it's a little hellish. So you, I mean, you saw my play there. Um, is to basically, I, I'm thinking that how to jump is probably going to be extremely important for us. But for now, let's use Necronomicon to get through like any tough rooms we might encounter. Okay, guess we'll also take Fruitcake right off the bat. That seems like it could not conceivably lead to badness. I, there's no other combat on this floor, so. You know, life's pretty good in that regard. Um, we're just looking for a single spirit heart. It's all I ask. A single spirit heart. Empty lock, it doesn't do it for us right now. There's many ways to get a spirit heart. And there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. Okay, I see, I see plays for us here. What are our plays? You can't handle my strongest plays. My strongest plays are not fit for a cobalt streak, much less a northern line like you. Well, one is a secret room into enough money for us to buy a spirit heart from the shop. Uh, well, I mean, it's... thank you. You use the key to do that, you rascal. Still, did it again. That's fine. You blow this guy up now. We're so close. We got eight cents. Just let me get a spirit heart. That doesn't even give us the win. It just gives us a chance. There's no spirit heart for sale. Then we use a bomb here. Find a second secret room. Oh, my lord. Okay, well. Now, you shoot at this thing until it explodes with an Ipecac shot. Now, that's not a good plan. Well, I guess you fight the boss, and the boss is a champion version of the haunt. Okay, well, when it rains, it freaking pours, man. When it rains, it freaking pours. So, champion version of the haunt. He's got that attack. That attack is bullshit. Fruitcake tears really give us, like, spiders and flies on occasion? Or is this some, like, walnut shenanigans? Yeah, you know he's got that angular brimstone. We got a little bit of HP. We're down to the next floor. You know what? Fuck it, we're not down on the next floor. How do you like this shit right here? I didn't think that it would necessarily break the walnut, but we're gonna do it again. There you go, we're up to 12 cents. Mom's locket, we open a chest, we get some HP back. Is that better than equality? It might give us the ability to survive this next floor, so I think it's potentially valuable. Um, I think we gotta peep this. So, right now, uh, I'm at least extremely happy, and if I'm being honest, like, a little proud of myself that I was able to survive that first floor. Honestly, we had zero combat until the boss fight, I think, thanks to uh, Necronomicon plus two battery charge, or, well, battery charge and, you know, starting with a full charge on it, of course. So. That was pretty sick, but are you still like, you know, in a tense situation like that, you deserve a little credit, I think, for making it sing. Launch battery is not necessary right now, but could be in the future. We also, like, fruitcake, we should be stoked about and extremely frightened of simultaneously, I think. You know, like, you know, these Ipecac shots, or the, the fire mine shots, sometimes they're gonna backfire. I know we could crack into that, but for now, I just wanna save a, uh... Save a bomb, just in case we come across two Tinted Rocks and the first one fucks with us. We gotta, like, really get down to, like, brass tacks on this one. This this is, like, a, a hard-to-survive Isaac run. And it, honestly, if we make it out of this, we get, like, HP Brimstone, HP Mom's Knife or something like that. Straight up, we earned it. Like, uh, at least relative, not to, like, you know, somebody who's lived their whole life, you know, in a foxhole or something like that is getting the Congressional Medal of Honor. You know, that's that's earned. But I'm just saying relative to the average Isaac run. Oh, you know what? We don't even have to use a bomb. That's right. Relative to the average Isaac run, we've earned this one. 
And I am gonna... Well, I'll tell you what, I am gonna play this guy instead of getting the shop to pay out. I really thought it was gonna be a blood bank, but maybe it's good that it's not. Try to blow this guy up. Our luck stat is above zero, so... Basically just got the bomb back. Come on, dude. Uh, HP or mapping? As, as long as you give me HP plus mapping, or HP or mapping, I should say. I don't really care if I, if I spend a million cents on you. I am... <laughs> hey, stop that, though. Uh, not cool, buddy. Now I don't have enough money to attend to the shop. I really wanted to get a spirit heart from this shop. You wouldn't treat your old man like this, would you? Oh, it's HP. Okay. So now we got two HP. Would that HP cost us about 20 cents? Why even risk this? Because it's fun, okay? You got me. Is it an optimal play? No, I'm not going into the into it thinking this is going to be what wins us the run. I'm a genius. I'm just saying, like, it's a, it's a fun play to at least give it a try. Bullet ball extreme, it'll catch your eye. That's a what? That's a bullet ball. Regular secret room. Enough money to mill our donation machine with a couple bombs and be able to buy something. So the wooden nickel is not worth it, um, but the spirit heart is immensely valuable. So I mean, you know what happens now. We use the spirit heart to ensure that we have the lowest chance possible of missing a deal with the devil. Then you leverage that deal with the devil and hope that it's more damage or an incredible amount of high defense. And then you basically just use that to win the run or have a good chance to win. I don't know what this guy's doing. I guess he's summoning a tear and then the tear just comes back and hits him in the face because he's charmed. A little strange. But not that I'm complaining. All right, yeah, it's been a delicate start, but so far so good. If it, if the deal with the angels or deal with the devil sucks, start getting deals with the angel or at least give it a chance. There's no obligation to take a deal with the devil right now if it's garbage, but it's actually like very, very good. So, we'll be taking both of these without a doubt. And the order does not matter, I think. Sure, you know what? Let's make it so we never have to fight greed. And then you grab that, and we're just going to move along here. We could go back for some more red hearts, but we're in a good spot now. Alright, so we... We played as well as we needed to. Which, to be fair, was probably only like a 7 or 8 out of 10. To survive, but that's more than you need. That's better than you need to play to survive the start of an average Isaac run or average Eden run, to be less ambiguous. And how does this run look right now? I mean, I, I would love a just a static tears increase. Fruitcake is actually doing great work for us, and I, I've got a lot more respect for this item, I think, than I used to have. Sack of Sacks is worth buying, I think. Also, a great song, really underrated song. In my humble opinion. Um, please explode into money. Thank you. A bit of a tight swing there. Um, but all in all, it's actually, I mean, it's quite good. Our damage stat is, is high for this stage of the game. If we can keep it uh, moving, it shouldn't be too bad. How to jump, you know, in theory makes it so we basically never have to take damage again. Although, I don't really use it. To the best of its theoretical, you know, possibilities. I guess he's just confused forever. That's pretty sweet. And we rolled a one in a good way. All of a sudden, things are really coming up here. And it's a decent deal. Um, I'm going to take Spirit of the Night. And I think I'll pay three for Contract from Below. Only because we have Dark Bum. So now with, uh, with Contract from Below... Or sorry, with uh, with Spirit of the Night, we probably no longer need uh, to use How to Jump. Not that we really used it much at all to begin with, but um, we, we could probably afford to get rid of this for something else without feeling like we've lost anything in the process. Although I know technically they have different functions. One's a dodge, the other one is a um, is more about positioning, but still. I'd rather have something more uh, more commonly useful, I guess. Because we, we should be able to much more easily avoid putting ourselves in harm's way now. But really, we just got to say... Uh, eh, I, think, 
think I'll stick with Rib of Greed for now. 15 cents, by the way, is Sack of Sacks, and all remaining money, unless our HP gets low enough that we want to buy a Spirit Heart, all remaining money is probably going to go to that Judgment to maybe get some Red Hearts back. Um, or, or some mapping, for that matter, but... Or some mapping for that mapper. Doesn't really work. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, we're, we're kind of like, we're in the Isaac flowchart now. And not in a bad way. Like, it, it feels good when you, you are able to force yourself uh, into a process that seemed like it might not be plausible. Ah, tractor beam's alright, but I think we should go for something a little bit more bombastic here. Similarly, Evil Eye is alright, although worse than tractor beam, I think. Book of Revelations is a better... Uh, item than how to jump right now, so we'll take that. And Curse of the Tower is garbage. I'm gonna temporarily jeopardize Sack of Sacks to take Cricket's body. Okay. So that's the item we want. And uh, Rate of Fire is now 7. I thought it was 12. We didn't. Maybe. Maybe I just haven't looked at it in a while. <laughs> Come on, we just need one penny here. One penny for Sack of Sacks. You gotta think that. Uh, that chest probably sorts it out right now. Oop, double the same pill. Two health upgrades. All right, well now I don't feel the need to play that judgment anymore. I just played my, you know, America's number 32 game show. Two health upgrades! Do you want two health upgrades? Or do you want what's behind door number one? Ooh, it's a tough choice. I don't know. I'll, I'll take door number one. It's two health upgrades. It's uh, not a good show, you know. It's uh, it's canceled. I just got word that it's canceled already. So we got sack of sacks. Hit the sack. Been too long. I'm glad to be sack. And we're down to the next floor. Why not take the second health upgrade? Oh, my sweet summer child. What if there's two two heart deals with the devil on this floor? Then. We could take one of them for one heart, assuming we get some red hearts to fill the one we have right now. And then we pop health up. We could take another one. Assuming, again, we can get some red hearts to fill that one, which is... That one's a little bit more of a... Of an ask, I suppose. Now, we have taken a lot of damage since picking up Cricket's body. I think that's... That's probably gonna happen. But you also just saw the speed at which we killed, uh, Mega Fatty. That should give you a lot of hope for where, uh, this run is going. Because Mega Fatty is an asshole, and to be able to kill him in a decent and timely fashion is indicative of the fact that we are in a very, very good spot on today's run. So, it's looking like our, our little, uh, our weird streak is going to live a little longer. It's the first time we've gotten, I think, into the double digits in Afterbirth Plus, so... I mean, even that by itself is a little, it's a modest accomplishment, and then to, uh... To keep it going here is very nice as well, so... I mean, I guess we're just going to accept that there's going to be uh, damage sometimes that it doesn't even seem like I can control for. Like, it's just going to hit us regardless from my own tears. And um, we're just going to compensate for that by probably trying to keep a good defensive item. Well, we already have a, a good defensive passive in the form of uh, Dark Bomb, but... You know, we... Oh, God. Also, maybe keep Book of Revelations around for now, because uh, it's frightening me a little bit now that... I, I'm still just starting to think, like, we take a little bit of bad damage, and then all of a sudden, you know, we get a bunch of uh, Ipecac Cricket's body shots that pop off simultaneously. Who knows, maybe get, like, Loki's horns or something like that. And, um, you know, a, a little bit of a bad run of form, and we could find ourselves uh, maybe taking a little bit more damage than we expected. Ooh, okay, so Dunce Cap is terrible. I'm gonna take it. Because I think that this should be hilarious now. Again, I don't think this is good, but I think it's funny, and that's good enough. Nun's Habit is gonna be very helpful. Gimpy would be a, a really good get right now. No battery charges. Um. Gimpy would be amazing, because our luck stat is not that good, but uh, we're probably going to take a lot of damage. Any way that we can make taking damage uh, work for us is going to be a positive thing. The other thing that would like make this run easily winnable is if we got uh, immunity to explosions. I still think we're already kind of in like an easily winnable spot, but immunity to explosions would help out a lot. 
So I just want to see if we get a deal with the devil. Here's the thing, like, you called it a jackdaw, but no. Here's the thing. There's no rule that you have to take all the HP upgrades. Maybe we'd prefer to have the spirit hearts. I want to take... This might be short-sighted. We've been to our item room, yes. I want to take the Hermit card with me, because it gives me a better deal with the devil. Well, not better deal with the devil. It gives us a better chance of, of making it plausible to steal the item from Boss Rush. We could get another opportunity to do that later. Um, but now, if we're holding one in our hands, that's fine. And honestly, the health upgrade no longer seems valuable, or at least no longer seems as valuable as it seemed uh, a couple of floors ago, because we're at 12 HP. I'm excited. It's a bad pill. I blew up the judgment just to raise our uh, raise our chances there. Moon card is also fine. Um, in fact, I think we should actually. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, excuse, sir. Um, I think we should use the hermit card right now and then save the moon card. I don't really. I still don't feel like we lost HP by leaving the HP upgrade behind. It was deliberate. It's because we're at max HP. So, we pop, uh, well, see this? Yes, okay. Got another Hermit card. Hermit, Hermit. And then I use the Moon. So, ironically, the reason I wanted to use the Hermit card instead of the Moon was because it was going to put us right next to where we could pick up the Moon card. Instead, I accidentally used the Moon card. We should have just flown over. That's a good, uh, good pickup, though. Instead, I used the Moon card. Took us to the secret room. And I was like, oh shit, I messed it up. And then, turns out, the secret room was also next to that room. Anyway, it's a roundabout way of explaining what was happening there. Uh, we will take BFF, which I think is okay, and a two of diamonds. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna plan for the future a little bit. Get up to 20 cents here. We don't care about the Bible as far as our um, book transformations go. We've already gotten it, so no need for us to worry about it. Money should not really be an issue, but I didn't want to go back for the Two of Diamonds. I just wanted to, like, knock it out. Never have to worry about it. Tell you, Dunce Cap makes it hard to hit enemies. You know what makes it harder? Uh, the fact that they're constantly running towards not you, but your, like, punching bag. You know what makes it even harder? Uh, half the time, your tears have these bullshit random effects that are actually very good, but annoying me nonetheless. But I'm not frustrated. I mean, we're we're making HP. Like we're we're living our lives in a in a good fashion here. I really think like the one thing that fucks this run up is like Loki's horns or actually just genuinely Ipecac. But I would probably still try to make Ipecac work. As stupid as that sounds, I I like the idea of it. And we're generating enough HP that even if it's garbage, we might be able to work through it regardless, so. Um, we do have one cube of meat. This will be our second. And with, um, you know, with BFF, there's nothing to sneeze at, especially if we can get some invincibility in some form. You know, a, a holy mantle would be, like, a hugely valuable item for us right here. And we will take the mark. Kind of hard to tell where we were standing, but... Mark was the right call there for sure. And we will check... Oh, that was close. We will check our... Uh, okay, that was... Well, we have a golden key, so it's not that bad. Um, we will check our uh, item room. Still trying to make boss rush work, but... If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Gotta, you know, take the items available to us right now as well. I think we'll... Wait, 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 wait. Okay. We're gonna open all these, teleport out probably. That was... Yeah, that was like, what hit me? Uh, maybe the zombie that you know, ran into you, could be a factor there. Um, you got a spirit heart for me? You do have a spirit heart for me. So we'll teleport out. There's another hermit card in here. I've been doing a lot of dailies lately. I know we can afford to play a little bit faster and looser with boss rush than I often had been doing when I got out of my daily mindset, but um, probably do want to be a little faster than this, but we can make it work with some sacrifices. Backstabber is probably not worth what we're paying, or what, or the, the time that we spent, but the best things in life are free for everything else. There's MasterCard. That's what I've always said. Said it for years. What do you mean? It's a, it's a American credit card chain. I don't understand. What is this? 
You talking about an electronic bank transfer card? Some kind of devilish plastic device that allows you to make purchases without hard financial instruments? Hmm? Okay, Depths 2, Necropolis 2, whatever. We're past the point of that really uh, making a big difference. And two stone chests means, like, absolutely we do not care. They're not stone chests, two regular chests. I call them stone because it kind of looks like they're made out of stone. Then there's chests that are actually made out of stone. It's a very confusing little Ouroboros we found ourselves in here. Yeah, okay, so, like, there's a dime. Is it top of the line? Does it have a cute face, uh, small waist, and a big behind? It doesn't matter. It's a, it's another hard financial instrument, as mentioned earlier. Suicide King. Interesting card. I don't know what you do with Suicide King to make it more not just ignored. I mean, you have to be about as stupid as I am to ever carry that card around with you without a failsafe, so... Um, so far, we haven't found a way to make it work. We do have a 38% deal with the devil chance on this floor. I don't know why our, our deal with the devil chance is like 3% higher than it should be. Well, not that it should be, but then what base chance would be. So I don't know where that 3% came from, but more power to it, I suppose. Um, so we'd like to teleport into that room after boss rush and honestly donate a bunch of money. I'll check it quickly. Like, there's no reason not to donate in this situation which is great like we can whether we make it to boss rush or not we can um, we can donate money there's nothing really to buy there anyway so um and i think we've got a great chance of making it to boss rush here all we got to do is basically like well red mom is going to be slightly more difficult but you know one really good tear effect would have done it but we didn't even need that no krampus please so, uh, I'll take Eye of Belial. I don't think it's that good, but again, HP is a, a strong suit for us. And then we got Host Head is immunity to explosions. I didn't think it was going to be possible, but there you go. Um, that is amazing for us. So, we basically are unkillable now. It's one of the very few times we've managed to get Host Head to do that, uh, that effect for us and enjoy it that much. But, yeah, that's, that's great. So, the money is irrelevant here. Take as much as you want. Take it all, as far as I'm concerned. Um... We're going to go look for an item room, and then we are going to go... I mean, might as well. We're going to go look for an item room. We're going to go look for, uh... Maybe a curse room? But our guppy dream does not exist right now, effectively. And mostly, we're going to be super stoked that we uh, got, like, one of the two items that we exactly need. Now, why am I carrying the Suicide King card with me? Mostly, like, can I just say because I'm a dumb idiot sometimes? Like, it's for entertainment purposes, but it is stupid to carry it around. Now, do we care about a hush fight? I mean, honestly, I think our damage, not by traditional means, but, like, our... The amount of hurting power we have towards enemies is high enough that we could afford to if we wanted to. And we, we'll probably be fine from a time standpoint as well, but... I don't know. We'll have to... Uh, I guess we'll play it by ear once we, once we get down there. Um, hanged Man. Not really worth much here. I guess we should do that and then grab the other battery charge. You know, remember? Confidence is a slow and uh, insidious killer. But Milk is also um, the fuel for Thriller. Most people don't know that. Michael Jackson... Notorious milk drinker during the production of 1986's landmark album Thriller. It's probably 1984, that's my mistake. George Orwell, you know, in his landmark book of the same number, um, prognosticated, and he said, Lo, in the 1984th year, um, the king of pop will bequeath upon us a, a masterpiece, musically speaking, that will. Spend more time at number one on the Billboard Hot 200 than any album in human history. There's a joke in there. Here, I'm just going to give you the concept for the joke and you can fill in the blanks. Because the joke there is people always go like, you know, they'll look at something in today's world. And I'm not making a comment on the state of today's world, you know. Some people are pleased with it. A lot of people are not. I think that's fair to say. 
Um, that that's as controversial as I'm gonna be, okay? I don't know. That's pretty intense that's for me. Um, but people always go like, "Hey, look at this in today's world," and then they show a passage from George Orwell's magnum opus 1984 and it is his magnum opus okay i know you might enjoy animal farm it's a good book if a little heavy-handed but still um written in a different era you know i i hold no disrespect for that but what if george orwell by the way incubus and third level cuba meet with bff pretty solid what if george orwell was actually nostradamus and he predicted like in the year 2017 a winged football team from the United States of America will have a notorious choke in the fourth quarter, losing overtime to the greatest NFL franchise of all time. So I'm just going to Emperor card out of here, like straight up. We got um, Bob's Brain, which as far as I'm concerned, with immunity to explosions, is pretty dope. And, or should I say, pretty dynamite. <laughs> but then at the same time, um, we also got... Uh, I'm not going to the Void yet, but I will, I will probably... Be okay with doing it later. Guppy, 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 guppy. Anyway, there's your concept for the joke. Is it good? Mm, I would say no. So let's fight Hush first and then go to the void after that if we want to do that still. Low Horizon Zero Dawn, a cybernetic dinosaur video game. I know you don't know what those are yet, but... Don't try to tell me they had video games in 1984, because I don't even want to have to be the dude who has to say that 1984 was written in like the year 1941 or something like that. Or actually, I think it was written in the 30s. Anyway, there were some good choices there, but Tech X is like, oh, it's going to fuck up Cricket's body, but whatever. Not that bad. Pill is I can see forever, and I guess we'll take this in, and everything else is good. I guess at this point, we do want this, and uh, sure, let's do it. So it's actually like I think I've put myself in a in a worse position by taking Tech X. And that just like, you know, I never understood until this very moment the expression rules are made to be broken. Tech X is like always a great pickup, except right now. So should we still uh What if we just did this instead? Should we still go to the void floor? I mean, I was planning on it, but to be honest with you, um, you go to the void floor to shit on enemies. If I'm not absolutely shitting on enemies, I'd rather go to the chest where we have a chance to get cool synergies uh, for this run. It's not to say, like, again, I mean, let, let me make my point. My point is that I resist the notion that going to the void is the highest form of entertainment in Isaac. I think the chest is a higher form of entertainment because of the fact that it gives you more items, and especially, you know, we got Contract from below, which you basically take it to be like, hey, double the items I get on the chest. The consumables you get before that are just gravy. Plus, we got a cool run that has uh, a bobsled team. It also has the opportunity for us to get a cool synergy for Tech X after somewhat ruining our, our cool synergies that we had before. And if I could, uh, if I could make that up to my audience, well, I think that would be the the right thing to do, wouldn't it? So we've taken a little bit more damage here than would have liked to have admitted. But by the way, you see, like sometimes there's one ring, sometimes there's two rings, sometimes there's three rings. One ring is my shot, two rings is mine and Incubus, and then three rings is mine, Incubus, and Bookworm. But Northern Lion. What about the time when there's zero rings? Uh, that, my son, is when I was not charging up the shot properly. I mean, I hope you weren't looking for something like more uplifting there, but you know, something you cannot, it's not just tap shooting, you know, you gotta take a little time here. You, you take a little drink and then you drink a little water. What I got, you gotta charge it to the maximum. Of all the bands to do an impression of, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, I firmly believe, are one of them. Ninety-three cents. 
with nothing to spend it on. You know what that means? It means I'm very interested in getting like a money equals power or something like that. I mean, okay, so I, I was like, maybe you feel like I've sold you a, a, a false bill of sale here or something. Is that what they say? Sold me a, what are, there's an expression there. I know there's, a, I got a bridge I could sell you. There's, that's, that's a different expression, but it's kind of similar. Um, an idiom, if you will. You might be saying, NL, I was promised that you would be bad after taking Tech X. And I, maybe I, I leaned a little too hard into that idea. We're not bad, we're just less amazing. And really, like, this is a much safer play. If we didn't have immunity to explosions, we would be very happy that we took Tech X. It's only because, you know, we were blowing everything up that it really seemed like this was a downgrade. But we're still, like, in a really, really good situation here. Probably one of the best dunce cap runs I've ever had. It's an item I, like, almost never take under any circumstance, so... So far, so good. And then, you know, we could still... Oh, it's beautiful. We could still get, uh, Void Portal access after the Blue Baby fight, but I'm not gonna bank on it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's fine either way. Curse of the Unknown means basically nothing to me because of the... Uh, because of the... Oh, I didn't Yara! Ah! I just got it! Said that's a great pickup, and then didn't Yara. But you know what? We can actually at least get two more chests by just doubling a chest as it drops. So that's me being an idiot, and I deserve your scorn. But let's, let's work through it together, alright, boys? Um... So I, I took the, the straw as well, because I think the straw is gonna be good for us, but... Come on, just give me one chest. Put me in, coach. Let me let me get myself out of this. You know, we actually might be slightly more worried about Curse of the Unknown now that we're not taking... There we go. Now that we're not taking... Um, Yara? It's another Yara. We've done it. It's another Yara. It's another Yara. It's another Yara. How does such a thing even happen? We created like 16 chests on this room. All right, I mean, oh God, dare, dare I, dare I? Oh, I fucking dare. So what do you do here? I'm gonna take all of the passives, <laughs> all of the passives, and I'm gonna leave the chest open. My God, he's done it. What is this? What have I done to this room to deserve it's a Mega Satan play? We can't leave though. Fighting Mega Satan is way less interesting than what I'm actually gonna do here. So we got all of the passives starting now. Okay, and what do you do? You grab this motherfucker right here and you double him. Oh, he's done it! All of the lights. <laughs> Okay, so now you grab this, you grab that. You get all the passives again. You grab this one. You grab this one. Again, fighting Mega Satan, way less interesting in my opinion than picking up as many ridiculous items as we possibly can right here. So, you know, like the wafer. You know, we got like also the little haunts here and we got the lemon mishap, which we don't care about, but that's okay. We got the little big chubby. We got the parasite. Don't forget about 2020. Holy water, you know, less valuable, but still exists. And then, um... Reroll it all, and now we get Death's Touch, and you know, there's a little dark, uh, dog tooth, bark at the moon. And then, what do you do here? Well, I guess you take all the passives, so you got, you know, you got your Bobby bob -oms, and you got your multi-dimensional babies, and... Heck, why not even take a Zodiac? Um, so this room, hopefully, redeems me for being an idiot earlier, and, uh, again, I apologize for not using the arrow root effectively. It is but, like, an uh, extremely fortunate happenstance that we find ourselves able to be in a better position now than we were back then. We're not immune to explosions? Not that it's a serious problem, but... Um, that was... I, I don't know where all the Yeras kept coming from. Either way, I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, I know. Bark at the Moon is like, there's a secret room, there's a secret room. I, I don't care at this point. 
It's probably like the most ridiculous single room I've ever seen on the chest. Short of like, you know, a spawn room where you have blank card Yera. And that, uh, I mean, certainly has given us a, a great ability to steamroll the Christ out of the rest of the game. No void portal though. And uh, a bunch of... Ooh! We got... Pay it forward, buddy. Pay it forward. Got Eden's Blessing, so we're going to start with another item on the next run. Thanks for the parting gift. For now, though, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.